Guys, if you are using Windows 11 and suddenly your Wi-Fi option disappears or you don't see the Wi-Fi icon on your taskbar and if you open Windows settings and go to network and internet settings, you will see that there is no Wi-Fi icon showing up. After that, if you open your Windows device manager and expand the network adapter section, you will not see any wireless or Wi-Fi related adapter here. So if you are facing any of these issues, watch the video till the end and follow the steps to make your Wi-Fi work properly again. So first we need to check whether the issue is with your Wi-Fi card, meaning the hardware or if it's just a problem with the drivers or settings. For that, we need to open command prompt. Go to your Windows search bar and type CMD. Then you will see the command prompt option. Click on run as administrator. When asked, allow it by clicking yes. Once it opens, type this command ping space 127.0.0.1 and hit enter. After that, if you're getting replies, it means your Wi-Fi card is working properly and the issue is likely with the driver or system settings. Now let's move to the solution with method 1, enabling the Wi-Fi option. First, click on the taskbar windows icon and then open the settings by clicking on the gear icon. Once the settings window opens, click on network and internet. Next, scroll down and click on advanced network settings. Under the network adapter section, find your Wi-Fi adapter. If it's disabled, just click on enable. This will turn your Wi-Fi adapter back on and should bring the Wi-Fi option and icon back just like it did for me. But if your Wi-Fi adapter is already enabled and you're still facing the issue, make sure to check the Wi-Fi button on your keyboard. Some PCs or laptops come with a physical Wi-Fi switch or key and if it was accidentally pressed, the Wi-Fi might be turned off. So press that button again to re-enable it. If that's not the issue either, then let's move on to the next method. Now we need to restart some Wi-Fi services. For that, right click on the taskbar windows icon, then you will see the run option. Click on it and the run box will open. Type services.msc and then click OK. Then the services window will open. Now find a service named W LAN autoconfig. To do this quickly, press the W key to get to the W section. Once you find W LAN autoconfig, double click on it. Check the startup type. If it's not set to automatic, select automatic. Now under service status, check if the service is running. If it is running, click stop, then click start to restart the service. Once it's restarted, click OK. Next, find another service called network connections. Press the N key to quickly go to the N section. Once you see network connections, double click on it. Go to the startup type. If it's not set to automatic, select the automatic option. Then stop the service and start it again to restart this service. Once it's done, click apply, then OK. Now you will see another service named network list service. Double click on it, then go to startup type and select the automatic option. Click apply and then OK. Finally, close the services window and check if your Wi-Fi icon has come back. It should be back now, if not, then follow the next method. Now we will troubleshoot the issue using device manager. For that, go to the windows icon on the taskbar, right click on it. And here you will see an option called device manager. Click on it. Once you click, the device manager window will open. Now expand the network adapter section. If you're not seeing any Wi-Fi or wireless adapter, the first thing you can do is go to the view option at the top and click on it. Here you will see an option called show hidden devices. Click on it. If your Wi-Fi adapter appears after that, then it's good. If not, then click on action at the top and then click on scan for hardware changes. Once you click, the page will refresh and your Wi-Fi adapter might come back like mine has. You can see here the wireless adapter has appeared and when I click on the taskbar shortcut, you can see the Wi-Fi option has also come back. If you already have this adapter and still your Wi-Fi option is missing, then right click on the adapter and click on update driver. Then click on browse my computer for drivers and then click on let me pick from a list. After that, you will see one or more Wi-Fi related adapters here. If the first one doesn't work, select the second one, then click on next. After that, the driver will install, wait for some time, and then you'll get a message saying, Windows has successfully updated your drivers. Now click on close and check your Wi-Fi icon on the taskbar, see if it appears. If it's still not showing, then we will reinstall the Wi-Fi adapter. For that, go to your Wi-Fi adapter, then right click on it, and click on uninstall device. Here click on uninstall. Once you click, after a few seconds your driver will uninstall. Don't worry, when you restart your PC, it will automatically come back. So now, close the window, go to your Windows Start button, then click on the power icon and select restart. Once your PC restarts, check if your Wi-Fi option is restored or not. 
if not then we will follow the next method where we will reset wireless wi-fi settings to do that go to your windows search bar and type cmd here then click on run as administrator allow it by clicking on yes once it's opened you need to type some commands here these commands are given in the description or you can type them by seeing on the screen type the first command here netsh space winsock space reset then hit enter once it's done you need to restart your pc later but for now type the next command here netsh space int space ip space reset then hit enter once it's done now type the third and last command here ipconfig space forward slash flush dns and hit enter these commands will restore your network configuration settings to default and there's a high chance this will bring your wi-fi back now close the command window and restart your PC then check if your Wi-Fi option is restored or not. If not then reset your network settings again through windows settings. Click on the taskbar windows icon then click on settings. Once it opens click on network and internet scroll down and then click on advanced network settings then click on network reset and here you will see reset now option. Click on it then click on yes. After that, you will see a message saying Windows will shut down after 5 minutes. Click on close, then close the settings window too. Now restart your PC manually. Once you restart your PC, then check the Wi-Fi icon if restored or not. After following these steps carefully, there are high chances your Wi-Fi will be back. So guys, these are some of the methods to fix the Wi-Fi missing problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and share it with your friends. See you in the next video. Stay safe.